has to appoint your daddy domain to DreamHost. In this video session, I'm going to show you how simple it is to appoint a domain registered with GoDaddy to DreamHost product. I will assume that we're using virtual private server with DreamHost, even though if you're using managed WordPress, shared hosting and whatnot, the process will be similar, okay? One way or another, we need two distinct information. One is the IP of the server that you want to point your GoDaddy domain towards, which will be obviously DreamHost. And second is DreamHost name servers. So let's go and find this information. Your VPS will have a unique ID. Then simply you can ping your server IP using Windows command prompt or you can use reverse IP check. One way or another, we need to find the IP that you want to point your domain towards. In my example, this is the IP. So I can highlight that and copy so that I have that information ready. And then DreamHost name servers. Okay, so my IP is this and name servers are these. Now, all I need to do is change the DNS settings on GoDaddy side. I need to then update name servers. Yeah, with GoDaddy, you can actually get to that through your account settings and domain defaults. So let's go and make that change. With name servers, let's press on change. Here, GoDaddy, since it doesn't want you to go elsewhere, and it's saying, okay, you know what? This is very risky, all this stuff. It doesn't matter. Let's press enter my own name servers, advanced. And here, we simply add this. Okay, so that's name server one. What is the name server two? And then we can press on add another name server and make that number three. I'll zoom in so that you see. So basically these are DreamHost name servers. Let's press cancel. And next, what we need to do is add a DNS record. We need to add a record. Let's press on add, choose type A, and then we need to now place our IP address. Okay, here you can simply um, put at symbol. Okay, time to live. You can perhaps, you know, have it half an hour, one hour. It doesn't really make that much of a difference. Time to live is for DNS to propagate on internet through domain name service servers so now as you can see there's two information we've modified well I didn't because I'm not gonna point this one to DreamHost all you need to do is update as in change the name servers to go to DreamHost name servers and then all you need to do is add type a record and the value obviously is the ip of your dreamhost server now once you make these changes simply press on add record let's clear this because i don't want to make these changes then now what will happen is within very short time the domain that was registered with dream um, godaddy will be using DreamHost name servers and it will point to the IP address that you've provided. In fact, I'll show you a trick to speed up the process. Let's go to tools, simply go to web proxy and then use different server locations 
and simply request your domain name because then the update will be quicker next here is how you can host your domain on dreamhost i'll show you that before i close up but so far you've learned how to point godaddy domain to dreamhost at that moment whether you're using vps it's a virtual private server whether you're using different products such as um, dedicated server or dream compute and so on your domain now points to dreamhost but if you want to host that domain all you then need to do is say okay you know what what is the name of the domain we'll just call it example then you create a new user give the name to your user select the virtual private server that you want to host that domain under you can add www if you so choose but if you prefer non www version then select that web directory you can leave it anyhow you want or name it to anything you want it's just a directory here we've got php 7.4 that's rather um, popular it's still in 2022 but now you've got php.8 right so if you've got php.8 and dreamhost offers you that why not select that then you select extra web security and then simply fully host that domain what will happen is that domain will now reside within your virtual private server whereby you can now install one click apps and so on okay so that is how you point a domain from godaddy to dreamhost once again you need to update the name servers and then you also need to add a record and then provide the ip on godaddy side and i've shown you how to get a hold of it but always you can contact dreamhost support if you're unsure as to how to um, make that change okay and to be able to fully host it simply on the domains go to domain manage domains and press on add as in host the domain and then simply provide details and then fully host that domain i right, thank you very much for learning with rankia and i'll talk with you in the next video session